Penicillins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors, beta-lactam antibiotics. Penicillins are divided into narrow-spectrum penicillins, aminopenicillins, penicillinase-resistant penicillins, and extended-spectrum penicillins, on the basis of spectrum of activity. In this video we will discuss about some important clinical pharmacology pearls about these penicillins. So, let's get started. Hypersensitivity Reactions Penicillins are known for causing hypersensitivity reactions, which can range from mild rashes to severe anaphylaxis. Patients with a history of penicillin allergy should be assessed carefully, and alternative antibiotics should be considered if the reaction was severe. There is a low but not negligible risk of cross-reactivity between penicillins and cephalosporins, especially with first-generation cephalosporins. If a patient has a history of a mild penicillin allergy, certain cephalosporins might still be used with caution. Renal dosing. Penicillins are primarily have renal excretion through glomerular filtration and tubular secretion. So many penicillins, particularly those that are renally excreted, like amoxicillin and ampicillin, require dose adjustments in patients with renal impairment to prevent accumulation and toxicity. Beta-lactamase inhibitors. The combination of penicillins with beta-lactamase inhibitors, like clavulanic acid and sulbactam, extends the spectrum of activity against beta-lactamase-producing bacteria, making these combinations effective against organisms like Staphylococcus aureus and some gram-negative pathogens. Penicillin G and Penicillin V Specificity Penicillin G only used intravenously, while Penicillin V only used orally. They remain highly effective against streptococcal infections and are the treatment of choice for conditions like streptococcal pharyngitis, syphilis, and rheumatic fever prophylaxis. Drug interactions with methotrexate. Penicillins can inhibit the renal excretion of methotrexate, potentially leading to methotrexate toxicity. So monitoring of methotrexate levels is important when these drugs are used concurrently. Nafcillin and oxacillin for MSSA infection. Nafcillin and oxacillin are penicillinase-resistant penicillins that are preferred for the treatment of methicillin-sensitive Staphylococcus aureus infections, including bacteremia and endocarditis, due to their superior efficacy compared to vancomycin. Food interactions. Some penicillins, such as amoxicillin, are better absorbed with food, while others, like penicillin V, should be taken on an empty stomach for optimal absorption. Timing of administration can affect drug efficacy. Procaine and benzathine penicillin G. Procaine and benzathine formulations of penicillin G provide long-acting effects and are used for conditions requiring prolonged exposure to the antibiotic, such as syphilis and rheumatic fever prophylaxis. However, they should not be used for acute severe infections due to their slow onset. Penicillin dosing in special populations. In the end, adjust penicillin dosing for pregnant women to account for changes in renal clearance and distribution. Penicillins are generally safe during pregnancy, but dosage adjustments may be necessary to ensure therapeutic efficacy. One thing to note here that, these clinical pearls provide key insights into the effective and safe use of penicillins in various clinical scenarios. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below which drug class you'd like to see clinical pearls on next. Keep learning and keep growing. Thank you.